My vlogs from Paris are all over the place. I thought I was doing my best to film and catch glimpses of my new life in Paris, but looking back at my footage, most of it doesn't really make sense. It's such a beautiful sunny day in Paris. It's only 8 a.m. and it's already like 25 degrees. That's something I really like about Paris. It's warm here. It's sunny not always, but not with warm. A really cool thing about Ifa is that it's located right by the canal. So whenever we have a break or whenever we have lunch, we just go to the supermarket nearby, we buy some baguette and like hummus and stuff like that, and then we just sit here by the canal and we chill and we eat our lunch, which is so nice. That's like one of my favorite things to do here. It's such a beautiful sunny day. I mean, it's almost always beautiful. No, it's not. It's just not. I'm heading to school as usual. It's my life. I go to school almost every day. I was just constantly in a rush, just running from home to station and school. I couldn't really focus on vlogging. What a beautiful sunny day. Most of my footage is from Metro, which is where I spend a lot of my time in Paris. And then, of course, school, which is where I spend even more of my time in Paris. Okay, and you need to know a code to get in, which I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Is it? Fuck. Yes, great success, great success. And look how nice, uh, how nice it is when you have class here. You can, I mean, you can't sort of look outside, but you, if you turn around, you can see the candles. Okay, if it's a cool supermarket, I don't think you can go on. Sh <laughs> and sh <laughs> so this is what we're having for lunch, the usual lunch. But today we went a little, we're a little adventurous, we're a little crazy. We also got cheese, and this motherfucker big. The baguette is the size of flow. It literally looks like size of flow. <laughs> the warmer it got, the less time I would spend outside. We got super busy at school and we didn't really have time for much else. There was no more rosé and sunny streets of Paris, just a lot of computer work. But I did manage to do a couple of fun things. Flo and I went to Louis Vuitton Foundation, which is a popular art museum in Paris created by LVMH Group. Is that first piece of art? Even if you're not into art and you don't feel like you have time to spend just staring at weird objects, I would still very highly recommend it because there's just something about art. About being quiet and just taking it in whatever you see and trying to make sense out of it. It's almost therapeutic in a way. It's like working out session for your brain. And it does leave you with more refreshed and clear mind. <laughs> That's the skyline we have now. And there's a little Chinese house, oh, Chinese yeah. garden. <laughs> so Flo just told me that the man who owns it, but okay, it doesn't matter. The man who owns it, he's basically C CEO of LVMH. He is the richest man in Europe and he still made us pay 10 euro for this. And basically majority of museums and galleries are free, are free for students, right? Yeah. In Paris. And this one is still like for students, it's 10 euro. So, it's not enough to be the richest man in Europe. Unfair. Unfair. <laughs> Many chaos and flow. That's so cool. Oh my god, did you hear about this man who saved this child? No? Here in Paris? 
That's what we're having for lunch. Oh, the cakes look so good, Flo. Oh, Maybe we should share cakes. A great thing about living in Paris when you study luxury brand management is that whatever brand you're currently learning about, you'll probably be able to find it in this city. So one day we were doing this group project about this high-end Belgium chocolate brand and their store was located in the very central area in Paris in the first district and it was a very hot day and most of the metro lines in Paris don't have air condition so I decided to walk. Hey guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning in Paris and what do I have to do? School stuff, yes. Not like the worst kind of school stuff, we're just going to visit a store, a chocolate, like a luxury chocolate brand, Belgium luxury chocolate brand. Belgium luxury chocolate brand that is called, very good question, I don't remember what it's called, Margolini? Margolini. But anyways, my group and I, we're gonna go and visit the store. It's part of our uh, distribution strategies course. It's also just like kind of a nice, way for me to get out of the house and go downtown do you even call it downtown in paris it's like everything is downtown here basically so yeah basically what we're gonna do in the store if you're interested we are gonna obviously look at the interior at the um, like product selection that they're offering uh we might check out a couple of more stores they have five stores in paris so we're just gonna compare them to each other um yeah what else oh we're gonna watch the customers like going in and out of the store maybe uh sort of kind of pretend that we're customers ourselves and uh yeah ask the staff about whatever you know just to see what is their like respond what is the service also i know i'm very sweaty but it's very hot in paris today okay so no hate no hate look beautiful building and now they like all <laughs> And I especially remember this day because I accidentally stumbled across the beautiful opera house and that was the very first time since I came to Paris that I felt grateful. I just felt so grateful that I'm here. It's so weird, I was just like walking and I just had like this life realization. I live in Paris, how weird is that? <laughs> And then Anshi and I decided to take a break from Paris, just for a couple of days though. And we bought tickets to Valencia. Anshi, what are we doing? Booking tickets for Valencia! This is where I will see you the next time. I talk to you soon. Bye.